Hello, 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 hello. Okay, good morning, guys. Uh, so this video, guys, is I will just demonstrate on how to create a UI in Python using Tkinter. Although there are some <clears throat> application that you can make as uh, extension to create a UI, but we will be using Tkinter for today. Okay. Uh, let me share my screen, guys. Entire screen. Okay. Okay. I hope you're seeing this one now, now guys. Okay. So <clears throat> that's Tick Enter. Then before you can use Tick Enter, guys, you have to install this one in your python but we will be in, uh, you can install this through uh, visual studio code you just type a uh, terminal here getting a terminal guys just type it install tkinter then you just press enter now in my case it will not uh, install because it's already installed so that's how you install you just type this one it install Enter. okay then you just press enter okay now in order to create in order to apply the tkinter you have to import the tkinter then by using the tkinter we can create a windows a window then inside a window uh, you can also create widgets like the label entry entry is just like a text box where you can input your text and also a combo box i hope you are familiar with combo box and a button and also let's try if we can create a tree view and by the way guys uh, this will be included in your qa or quarterly assessment so and by the way also your quarterly assessment will be written so review lang yata tayo like, uh, Monday. Okay, sorry. Okay, let's start, guys. No. Okay, so so assuming you already installed your tkinter, then you can import now. In my case, I can import now my tkinter. You do something. Are you right? Something like import tkinter as tk. Now I'm using the identifier tk so that. Ubu na lang inigsulat na to guys sa ato ang code. Instead of uh, instead of writing the word tkinter, we will be writing the word tk. Okay? So we make it a short lang. And we also have to write this one from tkinter import asterisk, meaning you're importing all just to make sure. Then we can, uh, we have also to import something, uh, this one from tkinter import, sorry, import t, tk, this one guys, kanisha, ttk. So ttk will create the combo box and uh, to create a widget of combo box and tree, tree uh, we are going to use a ttk instead of tk, okay? Okay, now, let's let's create a window not to create a window just use a variable or an, an identifier then assign that to tkinter.tk okay this is how you do it guys you can either use the word root or you can use either the word window or any name that's because that's only a variable now for this one i'll just use the word root then i'll just type equals tk dot uh this one guys can be capital t then you put open close parentheses so right now you already have a window so to view the window guys at the end of your code you have to type this one guys root that's the name of the window that main loop then open close parentheses so by just doing that code guys if we run this program you can see now your your Oh no, what's this? Okay, for a while. Add uh, this one, guys. Sorry. This oh. Why is it running? 
Okay, I think, ay, ay, sorry po guys, sorry. I am not using an empty one, guys, no? This one, guys, sorry. Number three code sa taas. Sorry, so, by using this uh, code, if you run this program, okay, you have this window already, no? Okay, so, all we need to do is apply the widgets here. So, we're going to uh, insert uh label this one guys label entry combo box and button okay so again let me check my okay okay so guys so <clears throat> we can now uh let's put some uh what you call this one root the title so we can create a title let's say uh tkinter display example lang. okay so if you run this program you can see now the display why i can't run this program i ah, know it's in there sorry okay uh, by the way guys when you run your program good guys then you you uh you forgot to close the program when you run again the program mura shag mo ang yang status is mag wait siya nga ma close na siya so for now mao na siya guys but you cannot see clearly the tick in there so let's try to resize our window we can actually this is the default size of the window so to resize the window we are going to use root that geometry then uh, you have to surround it with double quotation mark. Let's say 300 by one, uh, let's say 200. Okay, so 300 guys is the width and the 200 is the height. Look. Okay, there you go. So you have now your uh, title. Okay, so next let's try to put some widgets. Okay, so to put the widgets, it's just like the window here. We can up, uh, assign, uh, what do you call this one? Uh, let's assign some identifier. So yeah, let's try to create label. Label one, okay, let's call it label one, then equals, you just type the tick enter identifier, which is the TK, TK, then dot label. So that means you are going to create a label. Then you put some uh, properties. So you have uh, you have to put here first the master window, which is the root. So meaning you are going to place this one in that on that window. So just put comma, and then you put the text property or attributes. So this will okay. So let's just say uh, uh, name example lang. Okay. So by just doing that, guys. You can, uh, uh, no, sorry. Before you can uh, display the label, you have to place this one into the window by using either pack, either pack or place. And uh, sorry. And the other one is grid. No? So we will just use the grid, guys. No? Uh, I'm going to explain what the grid is all about. Okay, so you do so, something like label one. Okay, by the way, if I'm going to run this one, guys, sorry for the pop-up. Okay, if you're going to run, you don't, you still don't have the label, okay? So you have to place that by using the grid. Okay. Label one, that grid. Then open close parenthesis. You have to set as a shang row or as a shang column. So I'll just put it row zero and column zero. Let me explain about row zero and column zero later. Now, let me just run the program first. Okay, I think something is wrong again. I ah, know something wrong. Ah, label one. It's not label. Label one. Okay. My error, guys. Sorry. Okay, there you go, guys. There is the label down there, guys. So this is actually the position of row zero and column zero. So just imagine an Excel, guys. No. So it's, it's uh the window mode of the tick enter is composed of rows and columns. So we're putting right now our label one, so row zero and 
column zero. So if we're going to put other widgets, or let's say beside this widget or this label, so that would be row zero lang yapon, but the column is one. Then un below the name, if you put another widget here, so that would be the row one and column zero. So it starts with zero, okay? So yeah, I, I hope you get my point. Okay, so yeah, let's try to add uh, entry here beside the name. So we have to place that so grid row nga, zero lang yapon, but the column is one. So yeah, let's try. Let's do entry. So yeah, let's just, just name it entry one equals, then you put the tick enter, tk, okay, for a while. Okay, I have to stay in the call. Okay. Okay, so TK that label. I ah, know not label. It must be TK that entry. Okay, because we're going to create an entry. Then ang pro uh, property, you just put it a root again because you are putting this one in the root window. Then uh let's uh you uh, you can simply uh, do it like this because and a text box can be something you know you can uh, you can uh i mean whether show like one a text no so let's just leave it like that then we are going to uh locate where we are going to place our entry okay so entry one that read uh, row zero because it will be beside the label one and then but the column right now is equals to one okay let's try to say that uh again napay nagdagan i forgot to oh there you go guys so you have now your name and uh, in the label and your entry box so for now there will be no function guys huh? just to display so second video na nako ibutangan og function together with the database sql okay so okay so next let's try uh say sunod ganay guys let's try the combo box okay so for combo box we're going to have okay let's name it as combo one then equals so this time it's not tk anymore because so tk well i say combo box guys if you notice compound you know, or command or okay you can you can tell uh, it's not available sa tk so it's actually available sa ttk that is why we importing the ttk here okay ttk it's a library of tk enter ttk that you can have now the combo box okay then so as a butang sa root okay then a combo box should have a value no because okay uh we will just put a value as a tuple a tuple banasha or list so you lang basta you can do it something like this uh let's try to have let's say male and female no sorry I need to have this one. It should be inside, okay? So meaning this will be the value of your combo box, okay? Then let's place our combo box and your one. Uh, let's place it below the name. So our row will be one and our column, by the way, guys, common mistakes ka na mga kama, no? Column is equal, sorry, wrong spelling of column. Column will be zero. I think I'm correct. Okay, let's try to run this program. There you go. Okay. So, bakti lang siya pagabutang guys, no? Because your name are having a small width. While the default of the combo box is the ko ihang width. Okay. So, pwede sa rin nato guys, it calls pa nato or sometimes we call it merge the column we can actually merge column and merge row here but uh, so that the width of the label broken or okay so here we can okay let me close this one we can add an argument here or an attribute we can say a uh, type here column okay there you go column span equals two 
Okay? So, we are merging the two columns now. So, para the the label one, which is the grid row zero, column zero, dili siya magumba. Sige, let's try. Oh, there you go, guys. So, iyan ang Okay? There you go. Okay. Now, you might be asking, sir, si Kitra ka ayo. Pwede ba siya butangan na itong uh, margin or something? Yes, we can. We can put uh, padding. Okay. I don't know if you're familiar with padding, no? Itong mga old student, the CSS padding. Uh, padding is actually the space between the widgets, no? Uh, sa iyahang border niya. Sige, let's try it. Let's try to put padding sa ato ang combo box here. Kama? So, I'll just put pad Y. So, meaning the vertical. Uh, let's try 10. Let's do that. There you go. You can see the space between the one guys, no? the widgets. If you, you can also put a space in here from the border of your window sa pinaka top by using also padding. Okay? Sige. So, ha -ha. let's try to put padding here. So label, pad, I'm oh, sorry, pad y equals oh, 5 lang. I'll just make a copy of this one. I'll place also here sa entry. Uh, don't forget to type the comma. Oh, there you go. Okay, so if you notice, there is uh, already a space there. No, sa pad y. Actually, nasa na siya yung space din sa ubos, guys. No? Yeah. Ilagay taka estimate kung nakapag yun siya liha. But actually, there it is. Also of the combo box. Okay. So, what's next? Let's do the button, guys. Okay. So, for the button, oh no, somebody's falling. Okay, let me end this.